You can take care of your hands by paying attention to the basics and preparing for the job you'll be doing. You need to develop a safety first attitude because the best way to stay safe is to prevent accidents from happening in the first place. You should be aware of the hazards that exist in your environment. Become familiar with the equipment that you use and keep track of the work that's going on around you. Remember to pay attention to your state of mind as well. Concentrate on what you are doing and make sure to control your emotions when things aren't going the way you'd like them to. Stay clear of distractions and learn to pace yourself. It only takes a fraction of a second for an accident to occur, so be careful. There are a lot of potential hazards in our work environments. High-speed cutting tools, heavy machinery, and sharp edges are just a few of the things that we can encounter. Because of their moving parts, many tools and machines can be dangerous. If we're not careful, our hands can be cut, pinched, even crushed. Make sure that all safety shields and guards are in place before you start work. Not knowing how to use a machine or tool can lead to an accident too. So take the time to become familiar with the equipment that you are working with. Follow proper procedures for operating and maintaining it and don't take shortcuts. Don't wear loose clothing that could get caught up in moving parts and pull your hands in with it. Use common sense when you're working. Be alert for the unexpected. Think ahead and keep track of what your hands and fingers are doing. Take the time to be safe. When you are working with tools, be careful of handles that pinch your hand. They can lead to injuries to your nerves, tendons, and blood vessels. Avoid handles with sharp edges and finger grooves. Protect yourself by choosing tool handles that are smooth or padded. They can be more comfortable, too. Handles should be shaped or positioned so that your wrist can be kept straight when you're using them. They should be long enough to extend across the palm to avoid pinching nerves within the palm itself. Trigger switches on power tools should be situated so that you use your middle finger or thumb instead of your index finger. This allows the index finger to help balance the tool without the additional stress of pressing the trigger. Be careful with tools that cause vibration. The combination of rapid movement and the way a tool is held can hurt circulation or pinch nerves and tendons in the hand. Vibration absorbing gloves can help to protect you in these situations.